Hi YouTube. I decided to talk about a video I watched this morning. I do have it in my community, but I'm going to share it on here too because um, there were some good points. It's um, I'll tell you what it is. It's called Beware the Narcissist Psychopaths are Immoral Amoral. And I wrote, um, because he asked, you you know, like, basically, do you think they can, um, like, conform in society, or learn, or, or can you cure their, um, mental disorder? And I wrote, they can fake every single stage if they choose, appearing to fit in, if that's their game my trained observation and then I told him great video and it is a great one um he made a point on one term that they use um to describe disorders I can't remember it now um I hope he repeats it again it's something he'd like to see the terminology on something change. It might occur to me because I made a mental note, but I forgot to um, attach a post-it. That's a trick. Sometimes you learn, like if you're if you are studying uh, for an exam or something, you make a mental note plus you put another attachment like a color or a name or a rhyme or something to help you recall what you want to remember you know and I did that I made a note of it but I didn't double note it you know so I'll have to if I can't remember it I'll go back it was approximately halfway through um 113 minute video so dang it could have been further into it even but it's not a waste of time to even listen to if you're caring for or associated with or any kind of psychopath or narcissist these and we have them governing our lives this is important to understand this is what my viewpoint is is this is a decision they make every day just like us second by second those of us that do not feel entitled or those of you that don't feel entitled um depending on if you feel a part of the earth or not, actually. And you know where I'm coming from with all that and people in their games. So, but anyway, so whatever part of the fence you fall on, my point is for criminals in this world, we put them in cells. Now, if these people can learn, um, the stages of getting along in society, even from a child, an infant into a child that's going to be playing with toys, they have to learn the first stage is sharing their toys. There's enough for everybody. You know, that type, they never learned that first stage. Now, I don't care if they want to learn it or not. But there's certain stages that we learn through our life and certain adaptions we make. Sometimes it comes naturally, but if it doesn't, these are stages these people can learn. You know if somebody wants to kill you, you know that. But they know within society they have to learn to control themselves and hold their horses, whether they like it or not, because it's illegal. Well, these people are criminal. Their souls are criminal. So if we can't make them conform with love, 
and it is true love, then we need to treat them like criminals every stage to see that they're going to comply with learnt behavior because they're fully capable of it. And that's my trained opinion on all that. So, but there was something about, I think, with Professor Sam Bachman, I think what he was saying is the combination of personality di disorders that there's no separation on these dark tetrad then into tri triad states of, you know, into sadism that, that perhaps like with whatever is acted on maybe and what they have gotten away with in society or do they feel entitled or they just don't like people or is it a combination that they don't like people and they feel entitled? You know, it's maybe all of the above or minus one, depending on who we're dealing with. But criminal is criminal is what I'm saying. Um, I'm not going to say normal people know how to behave in society to get along in society because there's some major uh, regressed souls that are in high positions, so evidently they can function within society. The norms of society is becoming very um, robotic, very cold, very impersonal, very um, uh, corporate corporations like everything the mind of the people is so corporation so corporate you know that's that's what I'm feeling today on all that so yeah they know how to behave but they don't want to because they feel entitled in one way or another or they don't care but this is not our problem. The ones that do live in society under the conforms of society and what we would deem as normal and why there are mental health care professionals out there because it's an actual profession, you know. So whether the ones that don't like it don't like it or not. You know, that's where I'm coming from. So. Yeah, some people have a spot to be very eloquent when they're talking and um, their style is such that they can go in different realms of society or the same that I would go but in a different manner. Um, I'm not about trying to protect myself in any way like that because they've done everything they could possibly do to my physical being and nothing's really shut me down or, you know, they can, they can stop my growth a little bit. But um, it's never going to stop me. And when I speak my words, I'm spelling on their asses. And I, I've i just begun. And if this shuts down here, and let me tell you, too, um, I'm going to make a video coming up about a woman that invented her own language. She actually was a priest of a church a long, this long time ago. And... Um, she was a master mathematic and linguist. She made it, like I said, she made her own language. She wrote music, um, uh, like Gregorian chant stuff and different. I shared one piece of her music, um, 
yesterday in my community. I'll find it for you and tell you what it is real quick here. Okay, um, her name was Hildegard of um, Berg in B I R G E N, I do believe, but Hildegard of B I N G E N, and the name of it is De Spiritu Sancto. Holy Spirit of the, um, oh, let me see, I'm going to pull it up. It's in my community. Um, it's just one of, there, there was like, um, a whole, oh, um, musical catalog of all her music and her poetry and different books and things she wrote. Just, um, she was, okay, this is called, uh, Holy Spirit, the quickener of life, is the name of that um, song she wrote. It's beautiful. It's got a choir of girls um, there. It's cool. And and the cathedral that they're in is remarkable in the acoustics in there and even the ancient is instruments that are used um if i'm not mistaken she's i was listening to a video yesterday oh no 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 shit uh oh uh oh uh oh I had to close out of this, close out, close out, oh my God, okay, I'm not going to say what happened, maybe it'll be okay, well, that was a close one, I don't want to um, put anybody else's stuff on my video, so yeah, disclaimer, that was a total freaking Google thing. <laughs> so whatever. Oh, I'll get back to what I was saying about um I watched. And anyway, that music is pretty cool. And I ran across but didn't listen to and it could have been her music. <gasps> it's still playing you dirty creeps. Oh oh I gotta I gotta close out. I got to close out of this entirely. Um, that was terrible. I, I'll open it back up. But, um, yeah, it was, uh, it just kept going without me doing anything. And I've done that before. And I had different tabs open, but I wasn't in there. I had left it and it wouldn't leave, and it kept going, if you've ever had that happen, so total disclaimer on that one, and I, uh, wasn't me, it was YouTube, so anyway, I think I was talking through the whole thing enough where that'll be okay, too, anyway. So, yeah, <laughs> I will get back to what I was talking about. I'm going to um, follow my links here and shoot. Because I had some conversations going on, too, in my life that I was trying to keep track of online. So I had different tabs open and whatnot, you know. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I had um, shared in my community. Maybe not. I might have to go into uh, my history 
but yesterday I had listened to a, um, oh, a mystic language. And I wanted to talk about language too a little bit. So I'm going to make my point in a video coming up here. Okay, it was called, um, and this is in my community. It's a 26-minute video, Mystical Language of Unknown Language Relative to Hildegard of Virgin. So that's what I was trying to tell you. And I made my own language, and I can prove it to you, can be learned, and it's with added syllables. And that was in, like, eighth grade, and now I have an understanding of why that all happened in my life like that. Because I can prove to you how, um, even from Greek or uh, Arabic-speaking nation like Syrian or Sumerian or one of them old Babylonian languages, pre-Hebrew, how they could take that and add vowels. And I will prove it to you through language in my own language I made, just like this Hildegard, that I can teach you, that you can get the gist of in a very small video. And I can prove to you how things can be changed and then go into another country and adopt a different meaning with an added or subtracted or inverted vowel in different languages. I can prove it to you. I can show you what I'm talking about. And and with that video, if people share it or share the knowledge, you will be able to nail these people through language and symbols. Not just symbols, but actual language. That's important. That's so important. Nail them with their own lies, with their language, like our Constitution, making that stuff stand, making it stick, because that's ours. So, you know, that's your truth. If you have a truth that you need to prove to the so-called overseers on this planet, I have a truth. And that's, you need to be in a cage. And if you can't be caged, you better learn to act right and fake it. Fake it till you make it. At least put it in your DNA. You know? Because even you'll learn how to act in prison. That's the way we treat criminals on this planet. So that's what needs to be done nailing them through language and spell, putting it out there, another word for casting, broadcasting at you, so that's, there's that, I've been waiting to do that one, but yeah, I'm going to teach you a language called Gedigi, probably tomorrow. That would be a good thing, unless something else pressing comes up or within all that. And I've spoken before on here. Doug tried to learn it. My kids know it. Even his daughter learned pretty well. Um, when I was a kid, we had like a coarse pig Latin. And then we'd call like double talk or triple talk. This is similar to triple talk, but I used... G's, I have actual vowels, um, G's, E's, I's, and sometimes Y's, and you'll, you'll get it, and it'll freak you right out that you will be able, some of you will learn it and understand it, I guarantee you, just like my kids did, and um, they both are um, legible when they speak it so or audible <laughs> legible i can understand them back it's not exactly as mine and it might be missing one of the vowels because sometimes you double or triple them because it's sort of got a rhyme 
it's like a song language and I'm I'll teach it to you and I'm gonna through that prove what was done in other languages to deceive people and with their own words and the correct definition of those words is how we cremate them. We don't just fry them learning their signs and symbols and agendas. No, we nail them to that cross they love so much with the word. So there you go. I've been thinking about that for a while. It's time. Exposing the liars is my favorite thing to do, and it's the only thing I do, and I do it well. And I give them no slack, zero, absolutely none. And I'm more of a fighter now than I ever have been, and more sensible about it. I'll just put that in your pipe and smoke it. Cheers. Most of my really snotty ways um, I learned from Doug. I learned it from all the narcissists and psychopaths I've been around, but mostly him. So when I sound like that, you can thank him, you know, but it needs to be said in that way for the people that are like him. So I'm sure you got the meaning because it's really out of my nature to be even tough or gruff or mean or fighting or anything but now that I have to that's just your problem because I'm always smarter and stronger so and there's another stick it in your pipe and smoke it or stick it for anybody so yeah That part of me is never going away. That's something I had, I had to do all my life, and I still have to do it because this is the reason why I have to be a fighter. I can't be some kind of, oh, would you please stop taxing the people in the world so much so they could go on vacation too? Pretty please, big brother, we love you. We're going to kiss your whatevers. That has not worked yet, obviously. It's like, no, you want little people to rearrange their anatomy? And you think I'm going to sit here and shut my mouth? No, I'm going to put you in a cage or pummel you on the way into there. One of the two, I don't care. So when I get like that, I'm actually just like that. So anyway. But this is going to be the year where um, you're going to, people are, they are going to find out that they really pushed the good ones too far and were smarter than them. And our intelligence is. And it's mine, I feel. I feel like good men of God that work hard are, are Satan doesn't give them time to think on the things that they need to think. And the female part that thinks she could get at me isn't smart enough, so I can carry that for God. And that's a part of his mind that he gives to me so I can put it out here for everybody out of protection. And that's what I do. And that's how I do it. Because they can't get to me. And the physical shit? Whatever. You know? Like trying to keep a person awake or whatever people do, you know? Yeah. Or not. 
<laughs> you know. Anyway, most most narcissists and psychopaths will go with the flow until they get bored. And then their um, lack of drama in their life drives them to um, do something off kilter. You know, or they'll plan it like for a long time, you know. That's how they operate. So I just wanted to make it really clear that we nail them with their own languages that they wrote. You know? And the words and the word changes. This is how we show the normous, normalcy in the world and hold our own for our creator. <laughs> and ourselves it's also self-preservation and that that is something that narcissists and psychopaths normally have is also self-preservation and if um, we can't kill them with kindness then we'll kill them with language The word of God like a sword, a double-edged sword. You know? Something like that. On guard. <laughs> or Anyway, I did grow up playing with swords, and um, we would uh, spar. Uh, no, it's not called sparring. I've been through this before. I've done this like three or four times on here. Okay. And then I come back, and I say it, and it's like, no, I'm not. Not today. Jousting. <laughs> anyway, thank you, God. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I was a weird kid. We had um, whips, and this was not my my. This was my house, not what I did. Or yes, what I did, but not uh, not because I went and purchased these things. But there was swords and even big artillery. There was uh, swords and whips and all kinds of weapons like everything you know oh. and it wasn't really just middle class they could do anything they wanted anywhere and there was always like a lake home or something something extra um two two different places not just you know so it's like these people that I gave up, um, walked away from everything, no matter what they offered me, was not worth what these people are doing to everybody else. So that, that's my basic reason. It started with prejudices against my little biracial cousins, second cousins. And then it escalated. Well, you know, it started with the way I was raised, but I'm then I'm talking morally in society and the hypocrisy and the rest of the phony and then degrading and putting all all like pretending to love and actually not um actions versus words behind the scenes and the things didn't correlate and i, I couldn't handle it it's like just i am not like that you know so I walked away from it all because I wasn't willing to kiss ass to be a part of that culture at all. So. 
Yes, and I hope you do appreciate that <laughs> because but it was easy for me to do, but most people wouldn't. But that's that I'm not most people. You know, a lot of people would just put up with whatever for a, a head start in life that some people never had, you know. So I chose the never had route. That's like choosing good and evil. Even as a child, when I was emancipated, I divorced them. Um, that's, that's the decision as a child I made, good or evil, and what I was willing to do to obtain that. That's, that's some serious shit right there as a kid. So... <clears throat> understand the amount of work I have into this creation that God made for us and sharing of that love on this planet that I'm not going to let them trash and just um, let them do it because it's not going to work and I'm going to show them how it won't. So... <laughs> Anyway, everybody, thank you for joining me. I, I love you so much. Peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA. Have a good night or day. They need to be in a cage wherever you're at.